Relations between the Philippines and China have been mostly friendly and amicable since the diplomatic relations were established in June 1975. However, in recent years, both nations have had contentious difficulties that have resulted in the cooling down reaching a low point. The territorial disputes in the West Philippine Sea have lately dominated Philippine-China relations, which have escalated since the naval standoff over the Scarborough Shoal in April 2012, and have been aggravated by issues of Chinese illegal occupation, unlawful infrastructure establishment, and incursions and encroachment within the Philippines' exclusive economic zone. Bilateral relations suffered a setback in January 2013 when the Philippine government launched an arbitration action against China under the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, questioning the legitimacy of China's Nine Dash Line claim over the contested waters. As China has prioritized anti access area denial A2AD with the US and building capabilities that pose a challenge to the US Navy's superiority in the South China Sea. And providing anti ship missiles like as the BrahMos has become critical in ensuring that smaller countries can utilize their own A2AD systems to counter China. Seeing China as a significant adversary in the South China Sea dispute, the Philippines is aiming to strengthen its naval capabilities. And BrahMos, which is a fire-and-forget weapon with high precision, also the missile is equipped with advanced embedded software. China will think twice about unlawfully trespassing or incursions and encroachment on Philippine property in the future. BrahMos is a short-range supersonic anti-ship land-attack cruise missile that can travel at three times the speed of sound, Mach 2.8 making it hard to stop with any anti-missile system. Even Russia's S-400 system can't track down BrahMos if they aren't targeted with extreme accuracy and super-accurate calculations. Because, in a short time, BrahMos may detect the anti-missile and adjust the route of the target at its own intelligence. It can skim over water or any surface below 5 meters, making it difficult to detect. In other words, targeting BrahMos is nearly difficult. Also, it make a S maneuver just before it reaches the target to guarantee that it hits it. Although, the territorial disputes have been in the spotlight for years. Manila and Beijing's relationship has improved under the present administration of President Rodrigo Duterte. Despite an international tribunal judgment in 2016 that rejected China's claim to territorial rights in the South China Sea, the Duterte administration has emphasized a soft approach toward China. Duterte's softer posture is supposed to be in exchange for loans and investments. On January 16, China has provided arms to the Philippines worth around $20 million. The defense equipment arrived in Manila just two days after the Philippines announced plans to purchase three batteries of the supersonic BrahMos missile system. The defensive equipments supplied by China include rescue and relief equipment, drone systems, detectors, water purification vehicles, ambulances, fire trucks, X-ray machines, transport vehicles, EOD robots, bomb disposal suits, engineering equipment, dump trucks, forklifts, and earth movers. The second shipment of military supplies is on its way. According to the Philippines, media outlet Inquirer, Defense Secretary, Delfin Lorenzana, stated that the contribution was part of a promise made by his Chinese counterpart, General Wei Fenger, during the Chinese official's visit to Manila in 2020. Lorenzana said, that is a tremendous assistance, adding that, it will help cover part of the country's large equipment gap.